State. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, uh, well, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading the upside, as are all the sectors with inside the S&P 500. The Dow is up 127 points, about three and a, about three tenths of a percent, nearly four tenths for the S&P or 17 points, four tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 67 points there, six tenths for the Russell, 12, one percent for the semis. That's a 36 point move. Trades are up 40 points. Gold is off 21 bucks. Silver's down 30 cents. Lights we crude up a buck 86. Lights we crude could be putting in a bottom today. Day. I believe there is a buy the D point pattern. Natural gas is basically flat. The 30 treasures off one point and 13 ticks. She's printing out at 118.27. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, it doesn't have a top. And price right now is trading above the top of its daily profile, closed above it yesterday. That suggests that it wants to rally further. Now, yeah, there's no top inside of the ES mini out there. Yeah, now there it, it is because it has achieved a little bit higher high today. Uh, it has triggered a Rhodesman Dominicator signal. That's going to require a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. Spot volatility still well below its 50 day X bench moving average. That is a positive for the bulls. Right now, you got the NQ taking on profile resistance. That's at 16.102. Above that, at 16.173 is its TD9 count top. And above that, 16.208.50. You take that out, and the NQ is going to continue to run higher. If you take a look at the US dollar index, it's just based. Basically trading within its daily profile it is trading just above the top of that profile 103.76. Uh, a, a close above that, and then again on Monday would signal move up to the 105.76 level. If you've got gold, that's testing support. That's profile support at 2023.20. We're trading at 2024. You got silver that has a sell the D point, as does gold. We don't have any support levels on the daily time frame. We'd have to take a look at weekly charts to try to figure out what is going on. If we take a look at light speed crude, you've got, I've got the smaller A to B equals. CD pattern that is in place out here. Nonetheless, it's made the 1 to 1 1.618 expansion of that, and this could be a Three River Morningstar pattern. If it does that, you've got to buy the D point. You've also got a new profile that's forming out there, support at 69.88, and resistance up at the 75.28 to 77.44 range. It's a bearish structured profile. Natural gas trading below profile that is trying to form out here. That's a bearish signal. Again, we'll come back to natural gas late January, early February. 30 year treasury. It uh, has a new profile, folks. It may be targeting that bullish structured area between 116.19 and 117.17. Stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show if you would, but drop to start your Friday. Have a fantastic one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.